What's up guys, Hong here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about which martial art between Judo and BJJ I think is actually more dangerous, okay? So, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, uh, you know, of course, click on the notification bell. Me, I'm 41 years old. I practice, uh, I'm a lifelong martial artist. Uh, my main thing is Judo at the moment, right? And I think it will be for pretty much forever. Uh, but I did practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about six years prior to transitioning to Judo. Been doing Judo for five years now. I'm a brown belt and uh, going for the black. And then after that, I'm going to go and try and fulfill a childhood dream, which is to win a, a title, right? Um, you know, I, actually, when I was a kid, I wanted to be in the Olympics, but that kind of got crushed out of me, you know, uh, because of, you know, a lot of things, parents mostly, uh, lack of money. And you know, whatever, I wasn't encouraging it at all. If any of you guys are Asian out there, you know that we Asians tend to be very, uh, not myself, because I'm, I'm different, right? Like I grew up here uh, in Quebec, uh, in Canada. I'm in Canada, guys, uh, Montreal, Quebec. Uh, got here when I was two from, uh, from, uh, from, actually my parents were from Vietnam, but then they went through China. Then we ended up in the refugee camp. And then from there we, we took the boat, right? Boat people. And then we landed our ass in uh, Canada. So I got here when I was two. So, you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah. All they think about Asian people, it's all money, 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 man. It's all about going to school and, uh, you know, making money and increasing your status and all that uh, in, uh, in, in, in society, right? Uh, and that's it. It's, it's all they care about. So we're not, that, like... Look at look at sport. Okay, maybe in Asia it's different now with one FC and all that. But generally speak of, speaking, look at pro sports. There's there's very very like you can probably count them on your hand. I think okay, it's not that I, I follow any sports except uh, martial arts really. <laughs> okay, but yeah, all that to say that <clears throat> that's what I'm going for. So, but I'm too old at this point. At 41, Olympics, no, it, it's it's not happening, right? But. A, a title like a national title right Canadian champion or uh, uh, you know some international competitions in my age division right so that means for like masters so I don't know if it, it would be masters three five or ten but I'm 41 so those of you guys who know just leave it in the comments so if you're new to the channel that's what uh, that's what I do I do martial arts and I've done you know uh, the, the, the Kung Fu for two years when I was younger Taekwondo for free uh, you know, dabbled in, in boxing, um, Muay Thai, wrestling also, but the main thing is really grappling. That's what I really enjoyed doing, but, uh, and that's what I decided to, to focus on, right? Because I, I think that it's, like, a lot of people know how to strike, but grappling, I mean, now more and more, of course, because it's so popular, right? Uh, you know, because of MMA, Jiu-Jitsu and all that, but uh, it's like a secret weapon, generally speaking, like, like, I don't know, I'm just throwing out numbers here, but let's say 90% of the planet or 80% of the planet doesn't know how to grapple, right? So if you can grapple, I mean, it's it's like a big, like how do you say, a secret weapon kind of thing, right? Like a a, a, a superpower, like Jocko Willings, a, a uh, ex-Navy SEALs, right? Who, who's on YouTube now too, super interesting guy. Um, he talks about that and it's like, uh, he, he considers it a, a, uh, a, 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 What's the word? Super weapon? No. Um, secret weapon? Superpower. Like, it's like a superpower. Especially when the other person in front of you doesn't know anything about grappling, you know? Even if they know how to strike and stuff like that. Or, I mean, man. <laughs> those, for those of you guys who are, who, who are in the community and who do grappling, you guys know, man. You, you, if you know how to grapple, you know, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, or judo, or sambo, or anything like that, man, you, you, you know, you can manhandle somebody easily like that they won't even know what the hell happened to them you know okay so uh yeah so if you if you like the video subscribe of course that helps me out helps to grow the channel the community uh, i'd like to be able to do this full time at one point so that way i could just go win a title and I spend my days training and i'm gonna do that for as long as i possibly can so if i could do this until i die that'll be it okay man sorry i've been i've been rant i've been talking for four minutes okay judo BJJ, which one is more dangerous? I believe that judo is the more dangerous thing. 
Now, hear me out, okay? I'm not saying you can't do damage in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I mean, obviously, you can choke a guy out, break his leg, break his ankle, break any joint you want, essentially, right? And yeah, you could kill him. But I mean, you usually have that option, right? Where it's, 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 it's slower. I'm not saying it's slow, but it's slower than Judo, right? Because in Judo, like, it's, it's very uh, focused on throwing, right? So throwing, I mean, yeah, I know that old judo, you know, there's a lot more to it. You know, you could grab the legs, you could, but generally speaking, judo is, uh, is like, if you throw a guy, right? Like, uh, let's say on pavement, you could really hurt him bad, really bad, really, really bad. Even if you hold them, right? Because, you know, when you throw somebody in judo, like if you're, you're training with your partner, you hold on to that sleeve and you pull it towards you only one shoulder is gonna land, and of course your opponent, right? He also does judo, he knows how to break fall. So, you know, he has his chin tucked in and he hits the ground and he'll be okay. Like, that's, and still guys get hurt and busted up. Like on the tatami, man, you know, tatami with like a, 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 a floor, a, a false floor underneath with tires, you know, to cushion it, and tatami's on, and you still get busted up. So now if you throw somebody in the street who is not trained, who's not even, uh, whose, whose body isn't strong, and even if it, they are strong, it doesn't matter, man. If they don't know how to fall, and they fall crooked, and you slam them hard on the ground, so you do, I'm not talking about uh, Ouchi or Kouchi, where you're just, you know, like sweeping off the, the foot kind of thing, and then he just falls. Even that can be dangerous, because if he falls, and he doesn't have, like, that reflex of, you know, tucking in his chin, boom, he can get concussed, and, and that's, that's bad, that's, that's, that's dangerous, right? You can do some uh, some big damage like that, or some people might just die. Depend. What if he falls on like some kind of corner uh, of a sidewalk or something like that, or there's a rock and like guy's dead, man. And so people can get seriously concussed, okay? Like uh, with 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 these big throws, you know. Like for for example, if you do osoto, osoto is where you're going in front and you're rah, you're grabbing the guy, you're you know you're kicking his uh, his leg, one of his legs, right out under him and you're slamming him towards the floor I mean that guy could die like literally and even if you throw like something uh you do you do Ipan Soenage the arm throw right I mean man if the guy doesn't know what he's doing and he doesn't know how to roll and stuff like that he will slam his head right into the pavement break his neck concuss maybe even dead or if he sticks out his arm and uh you do it hard and fast enough there goes his arm, man. He's gonna break his arm, his shoulder. I mean, it's it's dangerous in that sense, you know? And one of the reasons why it's so dangerous, like when, when you think back on it, it judo came from jujitsu, which was the uh, the art, the, the martial art of the samurai. So those guys, I mean, yeah, when they throw, like uh, that, there's a reason why when you throw in judo and you know, like when the guy falls, his both shoulders touch, I mean, it's considered over. Cause one, you can get concussed. And two, if, if you're in a, on a battlefield, right? And you get thrown or you fall down, you're essentially considered dead. It's like, you don't want to be on the ground at all. There's like a couple of thousand on one side, a couple of thousand on the other side. And everyone's like, uh, uh, everyone has like a dagger and a, a, a how, how long is a, a katana again? Like. 12 feet and six feet uh, something uh, razor blade, you know, like you're dead. So you don't want to go on the ground. And and that's why, and, and so all that to say that, okay, you don't want to go on the ground, but when you're being, when you get thrown, you know, it's, it's, it's a violent thing, man. It's a violent thing. It's fast. It's, uh, and it's unpredictable. It's dynamic. I mean, you're in the air, ah, you know, and you could, you could really get hurt. Okay, so that's why I say that judo is more dangerous in that regard. Okay, now that being said, what's good about judo, the art of judo, the sport of judo, is that, you know, they teach self-control, respect, and this and that, and we do it in a controlled environment, so, you know, that's what makes it safe. But, I mean, and, and it's, it's, it's a good thing that we have values and, and we have this kind of a, a cultural thing that comes from Japan and pretty much... Uh, a lot of people adopted it, right? Everyone who practices the sport. So there's, there's, you know, we're not doing it to kill people. We're doing it to, you know, better ourselves, have fun, learn an art, develop character, and all the good things that you develop for judo. Now, in, in J Brazilian jiu-jitsu, here's the thing. Okay, so jiu-jitsu is mostly on the ground. So you let's say you get into a scuffle, boom, boom, you guys clinch up, or you just take them down. You take them down, 
right? Uh, unless you're doing a, a crazy takedown, like you're suplexing the guy, okay? Or you do a double leg and then, okay, he lands. Yeah, you could land bad. You could still break his arm if he outreaches and stuff like that. But I mean, that's not as bad as getting like seriously concussed at high speed, like rah, being slammed on the ground and being concussed. And it's like lights out, dead, uh, you know, something broken. Um, so you take the guy down and after that, what do you do? Well, you go for position, right? So you see where you go for position, you control, boom, and then you go for uh, submission, right? So then either you choke him out or you get into this kind of lock, you know, you break something and that's the end of it. So you see, it's it's more controlled. That's what I'm saying, you know? Like you can, and, and that's why like in um, in law enforcement now, like um, they're, they're starting to, um, I know, uh, I know the, the the two brothers there, the Hino Gracie and I forgot what was the other name, but they're doing stuff with law enforcement too and stuff like that. So that that way, like cops, right, are able to handle situations without, well, you know, shooting somebody or having or beating them down with the with the with the tactical baton, you know, and stuff like that, right? To de-escalate situations using uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu because jiu-jitsu is a lot about control, right? Like when you know how to, you control the person, boom, boom, you can do it and without too much damage, without breaking somebody, right? But if you just grab a guy and and you judo, bro, <laughs> yeesh. Yeah, so it's it's more dangerous, it's more violent, it's faster, you know, the, so, whereas jiu-jitsu, there's more control involved. There's a lot of, um, you know, you have more time to, to, um, to do what you want to do not to say that if you're if you're a violent uh sob and then you you just decide to break everything i mean it, it, it's, it's violent none, nonetheless so to speak right but there's a lot of control to it so it's not as how do you say dangerous you know um in a sense right i'm not saying it's not dangerous i'm just saying it's it's less dangerous because you have it's more about control position and then after that you go for the submission you take care of business right whereas Man in judo, it's like, oh, someone touches, ah, you throw him, boom. And the guy lands, breaks his face, you know, everything's concussed. You know, that's the thing, right? So it's more dangerous in that regards. Uh, but in jiu-jitsu, someone grabs, oh, da, 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 you maneuver, take him, take him down, go back, and then uh, you, you do what you have to do. And um, then there you go. You know, it's, uh, of course, you could finish it technically, but you might not want to because there's implications involved if you street fight and you hurt somebody, right? Like uh, even if it's for self-defense, I mean, if you go overboard, uh, I believe, right? Because there, there's there, the law here is that yeah, you could defend yourself, but there's such a fine line between defending yourself and then all of a sudden you become the aggressor. So I think in the states you'd have to check your state laws and all that. But I mean, yeah, you know, so so you have more control of of how you want to. Uh, uh, of the outcome of the situation. Where in judo, yes, you could control too, but I mean, it, it's hard to control it. You throw a guy, like let's say you, 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 you're you really in a position where, man, you're, you're, um, you want to, you gotta defend yourself and you throw the guy hard and the guy doesn't, he's not expecting it and you're actually at a level in judo where you can, you can hurt somebody, right? Like you're, you're, you're throwing people all over the place in your club and competition and then you go out and you throw someone on the street who doesn't have like zero judo background, zero grappling background and stuff like that. Woo! I mean, just like that, in a split second, that per you could turn, that could cause you a lot of grief, you know? Um, because you just busted up somebody, you could, get, I, you could even get sued, right? Yeah, you guys are so happy in, in uh, in the states man not like here here nobody sues no, nobody man i mean there are lawsuits but not like you guys you guys are crazy man everyone's getting sued you know for for anything so that's it so so you, if you kill the guy or you hurt the guy really bad you know you can get in trouble with the law and you can go to jail so that's another uh, different danger so to speak consequence of uh of you know do, doing you know of fighting essentially right uh whereas bjj it's like okay well you could you could handle the situation without busting the guy up. Because you know, judo, it's kind of like, you're taking the, I don't know if you guys heard this, but it's like hitting somebody with a planet. See what I mean? So, okay, you're not striking the guy, you're not punching him and stuff like that. But I mean, you're picking up, you're essentially picking him up off into the air and then 
driving him down and smashing him with a planet. Well, smashing him into the planet, but you know what I mean, uh, right? So, whereas jujitsu, you know, you don't have to go that far. You don't have to, uh, it's more, it's safer. It's less dangerous uh, of an art. So that's why uh, I believe that it's important to know both, right? And of course, there's a lot of ground game and stuff like that and immobilization and, and techniques in, in judo uh, too, of course, right? But it's it's less, uh, um, it's different. It's it's not the same pace, man. Like in judo, people just want to like throw and then arm bar right away and stuff like that. But I mean, you throw the guy, he's already, he smashed his head. He's, he's, he's out. What, you're gonna go break his arm after two? You know, or if he's not out, he's like, oh, <laughs> you're gonna break his arm, like, you know? You see where, where in, in, um, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you can control the guy, you know? And of course, if you have to break something, okay, but at least, you know, breaking a joint is not the same as, you know, like concussing the guy or putting him into a goddamn coma, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Hey, let me know in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, what if you have any experience regarding this of course don't say anything uh incriminating so to speak uh you know just talk about experience i'm just trying to look out for you guys here you know don't say no craziness uh you know and you know have anyways i don't i don't even think that's an, a real issue anyways okay so like the video guys uh comment below and of course share the video it helps me to grow the channel and of course uh what else Hey, we're almost at a thousand subs, guys. So that's that's really good. I'm I'm like what? I'm so surprised that it grew so fast, you know. So I, I really appreciate the support, man. So with time, like I said, I'll make the videos better quality. I just gotta figure out how to video edit, you know, lighting, and maybe buy some equipment at one point. But uh, hey, guys, I'm gonna make another video soon on. Uh, well, just keep watching. I'll I'll make videos every day, at least one video a day, if not two, and. Um, yeah, man, a lot of things. So with all the comments you guys are putting in, I read all the comments, and now from there, like I try to answer as much as I can, but it's it's time consuming, so uh, I answer quick, quick, and then after that, like uh, for the questions that I find, you know, that that's gonna take me a long time, like spending five, ten minutes typing, I could just spend five, ten minutes answering the question here, so then everybody benefits, right? All right, guys. So see you in the next one. Peace.